Acid Rush by Serpange, and others, is a level made in late 2017. Known for its edgy song, the chaotic visuals, and fun gameplay, I'll always have a soft spot for this level. So to start off my level review series, I thought I'd take a look at Acid Rush and try to put in some words while I'll always really enjoy it. If there's a level you want me to review, then feel free to tell me down below. I'm not going to waste any more time, let's just get into it. The gameplay of Acid Rush is fun. It's well synced and it feels very natural playing through it. While the gameplay is very fast, it never becomes too much and with enough practice, some of the more tense parts of the level, for example, Serpunge's part, become less and less intimidating. It has the type of gameplay that can keep you coming back for more. One gripe I do have is the abrupt ending. The level ends at a seemingly random position and the conclusion is underwhelming as a result. Kind of like Jawbreaker by Zenthic Alpha, which shares the exact same problem. But in the end, that's just a minor thing, and other than that, the gameplay is great. It flows really well, and the gameplay alone gives it a lot of replayability. The visuals are very chaotic throughout. I can see a lot of people saying that the decoration and effects are messy, but in my opinion, it fits the level really well, and lends itself superbly to the song and gameplay. My favourite part is towards the end, when it gets so intense that it actually looks like it's about to totally break down and then it totally breaks down. Good job. My favourite looking part of the level is Motley Ox because the sync there is especially good, same with Codex. I don't know why, but JF's Park just kind of gets under my skin. I don't know why, it doesn't really fit to me. Maybe that's just me, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. In some parts the block design needs a little work, as shown below. But overall the visuals are pretty good. They fit the level very well, but there's still some room for improvement. This level could be more original. While it's definitely a step up from your average generic level, I wouldn't say that the style is isolated to this one level. It actually really reminds me of the Toxin Lab series. That series has a similar tone in its levels, and I think it's safe to say the creators took some inspiration. That doesn't mean it's unoriginal. I'd say it's slightly above average in terms of originality. It's pretty unique, but there's still some room for improvement. That's all I have to say in terms of originality. I really like this level. There's some room for improvement in some aspects, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a great level. I've enjoyed it since I started attempting it in December of last year. There's hardly anything to really improve on other than a few minor gripes I have with it here and there. Be sure to tell me how you feel about this level in the comments below. I've attached a ranking list of all the levels down below from best to worst, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. Okay, that's all from me. Crystal, 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 crystal